Okay, this is another tray that we got in here uh, today that we've done uh, last year, uh, at the first of the season last year. This is an FOD that goes behind a Ford in a, a turbocharged Mustang. He got left on the starting line a little long and uh, got the training really hot and melted the uh, uh, transmission pressure sensor on the side of the case and which dumped all the fluid out onto the track. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take it apart real quick and, and kind of get an idea if it uh, did any damage to it or did he catch it fast enough to see uh, Neat little trannies here when you put a tranny brake in. There's a lot of stuff to them. So you got all your electronics, solenoids, and stuff like that right here. The fluid smells like it's been really, really hot. But we'll get in here and see. What we're they had room to put a few more bolts in here if they wanted to. But there is quite a few. This smells like it's been really, really hot. I really don't see no clutch material or anything like that in the pan. But you can definitely tell it's been hot. If you could only smell it. Because you could only smell it. This is your overdrive uh, band of pop piston right here. I'm going to try to get that thing out. They make different sizes of these depending on how you want to apply the band. And when the size is the size of this piston right here, that uh, put the fluid comes in here and pushes on the back and it pushes on the band and applies it. But the different number right here, or the letter, tells you what size you have. They have an A, B, C, D, depending on your application, uh, is the size that they put in there. This one right here is your reverse. Uh, servo right here that applies your reverse band to back up. Get this out of here. You always want to check these, make sure the rubber is really soft and it's not tearing on the edges. Because these bonded pistons, this rubber will come off and it will get hard and shrink uh, and not seal around the edges. In the same way with the cover, you want to really look here, make sure it's not hard because fluid uh, comes in here like this and pushes on that to apply that band to back up in reverse. We'll get this pump out of here and look at what he's done here. Normally there's three shafts. You got this one here, this one here, and another small one. But since this is a turbo car, it's been upgraded to a single shaft uh, style input shaft here. It's great big. You can't break them. And uh, it's the only way to go. I said we did this training about the first of last year. But you can see how big that shaft is. Normally this shaft is hollow and then this shaft here comes through this and sticks out the end of it here. And then you have two shafts and then this uh, little shaft goes back and ties into your third gear clutch. Mm -hmm. And this here ties into your forward clutch that moves the vehicle forward. This clutch here we took out right here is uh, your second gear clutch. It's got a little bit of wear on it, but uh, looks pretty good considering what type of car it's in. This is your overdrive band. This is about as big as they get. I wish they made a bigger band because the drum is actually can handle a lot bigger band. So, but the overdrive band is still there. It doesn't look totally scrapped. 
The drum looks still really good. It's got the diode sprag in it. You can hear that clicking. This spins one way and will not turn the other. And you can hear that, that those locks locking. Uh, well, this is your forward clutch right here that moves the vehicle forward. This shaft comes in here and splines into it like that. And then when this clutch comes on right here, that is physically what moves the vehicle forward. We'll look here and see what's going down. See if the clutches are burning or anything like that. Because like I say, when he dumps the fluid that fast, you can see how dry the clutches are. That means there was no fluid in this tranny. I mean, he slung it all off. And you can just tell they're dry, dry. There's no, no moisture on them at all from that oil. So the frictions there would definitely have to be replaced. Then we get farther down in here and look at some stuff. And you can really tell he's starting to really pull on these gears right here. You can tell he, I believe he ran this thing a little far without fluid in it. Farther than he thinks. We'll get this planted out of here. And Look at that and see what he's got going. Because you can definitely see where this planet has gotten hot, hot down in here. Let me get this sprag out of here. But you can see here where these gears are starting to turn purple. What flashlight? Right here. Yeah, it did get it, didn't it? Yeah, you can see right there. See how they're purple? That's lack of lubrication being shoved through here and oil in that gear. This is your first gear. This is the smallest gear in the unit. So it's going to spin the fastest. And you can see where it just started taking that planet out and getting hot, hot. In which the sun gear, this gear is no good too. You can see where it just started peeling it. Hold on, keep it right there. Okay. Right there. So we do have a little bit of wear going on in here. This is your reverse band. Still looks healthy, which he wasn't doing anything in reverse. Well, we got some more problems back in here. He might have damaged some other stuff. Because this shaft right here should just fall out. Let me get this nap ring off here first. That might help. There's a pin in here in the sleeve. I put it in here I forgot about on this unit here that that's nothing off because they they put this sleeve in here to hold that pin you get this out right here so this is your third gear clutch down in this drum right in here I want to look at your rings and your surface area where your bushings run This is probably the weakest part of this train is this little clutch right here because of uh, third gear. When you shift the third, it's just so tiny. They try to get as many in here as we can to compromise, to help it out a little bit. But you can see it's already took its toll. We even go over these hardened steels that keep heat transferring from clutch to clutch that way. But you can already see it already took the, the coating off of the, the steels right there. So, this, it, being low fluid, probably contributed to a lot of this problem. So, when that sensor melted out, and they kept him on the starting line for a month and a Sunday, I think uh, that's probably what took the training out. But, we'll get it back together for him and get it going again. Stay tuned.